here in my office today, Keller Williams. And I'm remembering how back in November, the Federal Reserves made an announcement that interest rates were going to be going up. And I wanted to see if Jordan is available to answer some up, some information that's more up to date. Hey, Jordan, hey. are you available to answer some interest rate information? Absolutely. Okay, thanks. All right, guys, so what I was looking at was what's called a mortgage securities chart. It's how interest rates are, are, are determined. I'm not gonna bore you with that. What I am gonna tell you is the details of it. So basically what happened was in November, the Fed had actually announced that they were going to increase interest rates, right? Now they weren't increasing the mortgage rates, rather the rate at which the banks borrow money. Because banks get money, they're not just filled with millions of dollars in, in money, right? So what ends up happening is they have to actually borrow that from the Fed. And at the rate at which they borrow said money mm -hmm. is what the bank pays back, which passes on to us for interest rates. So oh. interest rates didn't increase. The Fed rate increased, uh -huh. which in turn causes the mortgage interest rates to go up. So right. that happened in November that they were going to announce this. Yeah. And then from November all the way till January, there was another announcement of what the plan was because they didn't have the full blown plan yet. Okay. It was just a talk. Okay. And then they announced sometime in February that they were actually going to increase it by a quarter percent uh, for the fund rate, which was causing the market to start, kind of start shooting up. So back in November, we were, you know, mid three percent, uh -huh. right? And what ended up happening when they made an announcement, we started kind of getting up to the upper threes, low fours. And then every time they make an announcement, right? Every time oh. they make an announcement, it's, it's going to increase. Mm -hmm. So... What happens is now they announced it that they, in February they were going to be completely, you know, six to seven increases uh, starting in March. That was the first rate hike. Oh, yeah. I and remember then, that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. And then a few weeks ago it started and then they made another announcement that they were going to increase it by a half a percent and it was going to happen six to seven times the rest of this year. So wow. rates are still low, yeah, relatively they low. Are. We are pre-COVID level rates. So technically we're not in anywhere crazy, but rates are going to always be a subject of top uh, a subject of to uh, discussion, right? Topic of discussion is the word yeah, I was looking for. That's what everyone's worried about. Exactly. Right now. But at the end of the day, as long as you meet your payment requirement, everyone should for the most part be uh, be happy with that. Mm -hmm. you no, know, and you guys got to also remember this, right? If you're a renter, you're paying 100% of interest. That's 100% so sure. You're paying off my mortgage if you're renting my house. Exactly. So it's a perfect way to think about the fact that if you have a 5% interest rate or a 4.5% interest rate, rent is 100% and you don't see any money of that back. So, if you guys have questions about market, interest rates, whatever it might be, reach out to me or Sylvia and she'll help you out the real estate. I'm here for mortgages and I am Jordan with AmeriFirst Financial. I think Sylvia will give all your guys contact information for me uh, right here on the video. Yes. Any questions, reach out and his contact information will be right there. All right. See you guys. Bye.